All right, I've got the Xbox halfway back together. <laughs> Can't see it, but I'll get some light on on this thing. Bottom case is on. Disc drive's back in. Fans are back in place. Got the heat sinks back in. We're just missing the case. Put the hard drive in. There's our power brick. And we're hooked up just to the regular TV. I ain't going behind it just to test it to make sure it works. <clears throat> so let's turn this beast on before I put it back together. And we have a light. <clears throat> And look at that. The Xbox 360 works. Now whether it worked to begin with, I do not know. But those capacitors were bad. We replaced them. And now it works. I'll have to hook this thing up to the internet to update the <clears throat> Xbox home screen and all that. Because we're kind of old school looking. But... Can't really see all the well the capacitors are in there and they're changed. So there we go. Mission accomplished. Alright, I apologize for the light again. Finally got this thing back in its case. Got the Ethernet cable hooked up to it since it's, you know, pre Wi-Fi era. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna go. No red rings, no nothing. I'm not sure if it had... Like I said, I'm not sure if it worked before or not. Because I didn't bother... I didn't bother... Uh, connecting it. You know, and turning it on first. Damn it, because I got two Xboxes. Hold on. <clears throat> this one's... The remotes are both synchronized to the the new one. So let me disconnect the power. My new one. My Slim. So it doesn't turn on when I use this remote. We want to... Synchronize that. Or turn that on. I believe you just hold this button. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. My apologies. So I hooked it back up to the internet so I can apply the update to this thing because it's been you know, disconnected from online for God knows how long. I just got it back recently and I was just taking it apart to clean it. And so I wasn't sure if it worked or not. I was told that it did, but when I opened it up I saw that those four capacitors were leaking bad. So I was like, well, it's it may or may not work anymore. I know it had no red ring issues, but while I was taking it apart, I was like, well, you might as well, I might as well just do some preventative maintenance on it. Might as well. You should probably do that with your consoles and your cars alike. So I took them apart, pulled the heat sinks off, removed the thermal compound, pulled those maxi pads off of the RAM chips, put thermal compound on the RAM chips, wrapped two pennies in some electrical tape, and attached my little penny electrical tape trick to the RAM chips, apply new thermal compound to the GPU graphics processor and the CPU central processing unit and put the heat sinks back on put the Xbox back together and look at it, it's road ready, boom done so if it wasn't working before, it is now and it really needed to clean anyway, it was filthy in there so there you have it Preventative maintenance on your Xbox. Keep those red rings away. So now I have two working Xbox consoles. Got my big fat one right there for a rainy day. You know, I'm gonna make that for you. There she goes. So if my nice slim one over here. You can't see because it's black. But trust me, it's there. If this thing ever takes a shit. 
and is irreparable. I had a bad laser on it a couple weeks ago. I fixed it, so it's good to go now. But if it ever becomes irreparable, I have this guy to fall back on. So we're good. All right, thanks for watching. Y'all have a nice day. And hopefully I won't have to do any more console repairs for quite some time.